Hi everybody, today we're going to demonstrate one of FortiGate Cloud's new and exciting features, Overlay as a Service. Overlay as a Service offers a simple turnkey solution for secure intersite overlay provisioning and monitoring. Now, as an integrated part of FortiGate Cloud Advanced, organizations of all sizes can manage their entire corporate network through a single SaaS-based portal and unified dashboard. Overlay as a Service includes everything an organization needs to securely interconnect their corporate and cloud locations in minutes, including Fortinet managed hubs at geo-redundant locations. We are now logged into FortiCloud, which is the launching pad for Fortinet cloud services. As a prerequisite, we will need to have our FortiGates connected to the internet and registered with our FortiCloud account for them to be a part of our inventory. From here, I will now access the FortiGate Cloud portal. You can see that we have multiple FortiGates in our account for use in this demo. Once we're in FortiGate Cloud, scroll down to SD-WAN Overlay. In our demo today, we will go through the steps to deploy an overlay from scratch. The Overlay as a Service feature only needs three things to define a site. They are FortiGates, ISPs, and local subnets. Once you've defined multiple sites, Overlay as a Service will do the rest and create an SD-WAN overlay between them. If there's no existing overlay, you'll be presented with a simple three-step quick start wizard to guide you through the setup process. This first step is to select the location of our Fortinet hosted hubs. These hubs are included at no additional cost as part of the service and help facilitate the secure branch-to-branch -branch connectivity between our sites. You'll need to select two hub locations, one of which will be for redundancy purposes. We'll go ahead and select Plano, Texas as our primary location and Vancouver, Canada as our secondary location. Click Next. The hubs will now be provisioned. This may take a few minutes and we will fast forward for the sake of time. Once the hubs are successfully provisioned, you'll be taken to step two. We'll name our site Sunnyvale HQ. Once that's done, click on the device dropdown and select our HQ FortiGate from the device inventory. We'll keep the default SLA latency threshold value. Next, click OK. You can see that the Sunnyvale site has now been added to our overlay topology map. We will now repeat these simple steps for our other two branch sites in Chicago and New York. We will fast forward this process for the sake of time. I want to point out here that both branch and data center site types behave the same and have no impact on functionality as it pertains to overlay as a service. You can see that we have now defined three sites within our topology. What we'll need to do next is add our ISPs and subnets to our sites. We'll do this for our Sunnyvale site and repeat the process for the others. Let's now go to our Sunnyvale site and click on the plus sign and then again in the menu to add our ISP. Adding an ISP is very straightforward. Give it a name, which can be the name of your internet service provider. Optionally, enter in the cost of the link, which can be used for SD-WAN link prioritization, and select the WAN interface for that site to map it to. In our example, the WAN ports are all connected to port 1 and port 2 on their respective FortiGates. Click OK, and once more at the pop-up prompt, and you can see that ISP1 has now been added. We'll repeat this process for ISP2. Next, we'll add a subnet. Much like adding an ISP, the process of adding a subnet to our Sunnyvale site is also very simple. Let's select the interface with the subnet we want from the list and name our subnet LAN. Now click OK. We've now completed configuration for the Sunnyvale site. Let's repeat this process for other two branch sites. Click on Next to move on to Step 3. In this step, we're going to demonstrate how easy it is to create policies which allow site-to-site -site communications with Overlay as a Service. One of the most common use cases is to allow communications between two sites. To demonstrate this, let's select our Sunnyvale site as well as the LAN port as the source and New York branch and its LAN port as the destination. Now click Next and we're done. Click the button at the bottom to check the progress of our overlay being built in the task manager. We can see these configurations being pushed to our sites in real time. 
Once we see the process show is complete, refresh the topology page. Here you will see the actual topology and status of our VPN overlay. Initially, you will see orange around some or all of our sites. This means that the VPN tunnel for a given site is not up yet. To monitor the status of our overlays, all you have to do is click on the site you wish to look at. Here you'll see the status of active shortcut tunnels, overlay details, and performance, as well as some other site information. You might have noticed that there are no active shortcut tunnels yet for our sites. I want to take a moment to point out that overlays created by the service uses Fortinet proprietary ADVPN technology. All we need to do to create an ADVPN tunnel between our Sunnyvale and Chicago sites is to generate traffic between hosts residing in either site's subnet. We started a ping between machines on both subnets, and we can see that there is now a shortcut tunnel between the two sites. Next, we're going to demonstrate how easy it is to create policies which allow site-to-site -site communications with overlay as a service. One of the most common use cases is to allow all our different sites to communicate with each other. Using our intent-based policy engine, we can do all of this with one simple policy. Let's navigate to policy. You can see that we currently do not have any policies. Navigating the menu on the left, you'll see that we can create address objects, services, as well as apply advanced security inspection, such as antivirus, web filtering, application control, and IPS to our overlay traffic. Now to create the policy, we must first look at our address objects. You'll see that once our overlay was created, overlay as a service automatically created an address object for each of our local subnets. To further simplify things, what we can do is create a single object that represents all of the local subnets in our overlay network. Let's go to the Address Group tab and click on the Create button. Next, let's give our address object a name. We'll call it All LAN. Now, let's select all of our sites one by one, and when we're done, click OK. The next step would be to create our policy. Go to Overlay Policy and click Create. Let's give our policy a name, Allow All LAN. For both source and destination, select the address group object All LAN we just created. For service, select All. We can limit the scope of what's allowed if desired, but for our demo, we will allow all traffic between our sites. For schedule, choose Always, and action, select Accept. Since this is east-west traffic, let's protect it by enabling IPS on this policy. Finally, click OK. Once our policy is created, click Save to save the policy. After it's been saved, it's time to apply the policies to all FortiGates in our overlay. Simply click Apply. If you want to view the status, click on the Task Status button at the top. After a few seconds, you'll see that the policy change has been applied. Now let's lock on to the FortiGate to see what Overlay as a Service did under the hood. Here in our Sunnyvale HQ FortiGate, you can see that Overlay as a Service created multiple policies on the FortiGate. This is a stark contrast to the single intent-based policy we created in Overlay as a Service. If we log on to our New York branch office, we can see a very similar thing. A single policy in Overlay as a Service resulted in four policies in each of our sites. The more sites we have, the more time we saved using Overlay as a Service. In just a few short minutes, we have successfully created an SD-WAN overlay which allows secure and private communications between all of our branches and headquarters. Furthermore, using the Overlay as a Service intent-based policy engine, We've created a policy that allows land traffic traversing the overlay between multiple sites. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.